Hello and welcome to this Grunt tutorial where we shall be going over the watch task. So this is definitely my favourite um, task um, throughout the uh, Grunt platform simply because it makes everything so much easier. We can automate, we can uh, do all sorts of things but instead of rambling on let me just show you. Um, Firstly, what we're going to need to do is obviously we're going to have to install um, the task, package, whatever you want to call it. I prefer to say package. So sudo npm node package manager contrib watch um, save dev. There we are, it's installing now. Should be done any second. There we go. And next. As we always do, let's load in the uh, task. So grunt load grunt contrib watch. So there we are, very simply. Um, since we've got the watch task installed, I think it's appropriate that we shall change the register task to the watch task simply because we can just then run grunt and uh, it should watch continuously. Um, it's up to you but I prefer it that way. Next let's go ahead and add the um, options and settings uh, whatever you want to call them for the uh, watch task. So watch and we want to watch SAS. So let's do SAS files but we're defining SAS and then we're saying the files as an array we want to do SAS um, everything dot s c s s which basically means we want to watch everything that has this ex this extension then we do tasks because it's going to watch this and if anything changes run this task I'm going to type up now so run the SAS task which is this and also I also want you to run CSS min because I want you to minify those files so um, I want you to run SAS, then once you've run SAS, go ahead down here and run CSS men. So let's see. Go ahead and just run grunt watch. Um, I feel like I'm about to make a mistake, let me just think. Um, I've got the style sheets in there. Yeah, let's just check it, let's just test it. So it's running. Um, let me just minimize this. Put the terminal here so we can see what's going to what's going on. So if I go ahead and open, since here we're watching the file SAS, anything with the SAS extension. So go into the SAS folder. We've got a file here. For some reason, it's not recognizing um, the syntax on that. Let's change it just to CSS. Um, so this is some SAS syntax. Um, go ahead and just add a color red. There you are. It's caught the uh, task. It's found that this particular file has changed, so it's going to run SAS, the, um, which is this. Then it run the distribution to say, look, the files that we want to watch. Well, not watch. These are the files that. Um, we want style.css and sas.scss. So if this needs to be compiled into a normal style.css, uh, we've got the sas tutorial in a previous tutorial, so go ahead and watch that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've run the sas task, and it goes on to run CSS min. Um, so it's minified our files for us. So if we go ahead and look into style.css, we can see it's added the color red, which we added, and it's also compiled the SAS into regular CSS. And then the style min.css is has also been compiled, I mean minified. Um, so this file has been minified, and we've got red there. And um, well, this file has actually been compiled from a SAS to regular. Um, CSS. But yeah, that's um, pretty much it now for the watch task. We can actually change the default task to watch. And uh, 
this shall continue to watch um, upon any changes. So if you do blue, it's found that um, we changed this file, so it's gone ahead and compiled SAS into regular CSS, then, then it's gone and uh, minified our file. Um, so that will come continue to run. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it for the um, the uh, watch task. Uh, there's a lot of um, options that you can use for the watch um, task. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show you the main core um, attributes of the watch task. I'll leave a link in the description to the uh, repository for the uh, watch task and you can go ahead and look at all the different options but um, they're all fairly simple um, some are useful some are not too useful depending on what you're doing obviously the live reloads quite useful so you can reload the page um, you can force a reload uh, upon something changing um, there's also a chrome plugin actually so if you're working on um, a particular project and you know your files change uh, it should reload the um, you know the page that you're working on which is really useful if you're doing some just I don't know some HTML CSS and do some styling throughout and you'd like to see live updates so you could just have two monitors one with the uh, browser and the um, website that you're building and the other with um, your development tools and you can develop and watch it um, come to life I guess but yeah that's kind of it for the um, the uh, watch task we've got quite a big grunt file now which is pretty cool so hopefully in the next few tutorials we'll go ahead and optimize this but yeah I'm quite pleased with how this uh, grunt files come along it's, it's got some really useful things in here um, yeah so uh, once again thanks for taking the time to watch this video I do appreciate it and um, hopefully it helped that's uh, what I'm just creating these videos for I guess just to help people out um, but yeah I'll stop rambling and I shall see you guys in the next video good boy